All right, time for the Obelisk of Kamun. So, this is a pretty cool level. So, from here, we want to like jump up here because this is uh, showing a path where we need to go. Now, there's different movable blocks. The only one that we really need to move is this one. But I'm going to move all of them for you guys and show you guys what's in there. So, this one leads us to a pool. Be warned, there is a gator. So, yeah, come around this way. And then if you look over here, this is where you find the key that you need. But actually, I'm going to go ahead and try to kill the gator first. bit me. Alright, so go ahead and kill the gator. And then go for a swim, pick up the magnum clips. Get this med pack. And then there's the key over here that we want to take. After you get the key, go ahead and swim back out. Okay, what am I doing? Yeah, we want to swim back out. So yeah, this is our exit. So now we're going to move another one of those blocks. So, with most of these blocks, they'll lead you to get something like a med pack or ammo. We're gonna come in here, and we wanna hang from the ledge. And there's gonna be like a puma when you come down here, so I would use the shotgun. If you're in close range, two shots should do it. Come over here, pull the switch. And that opens up a door to get out. So, before you get out, you might want to look around over here and just see if there's anything to pick up. And there's a med pack over here, so you will get a small med pack out of coming this way. I really don't think it's worth it. I mean, you have to fight a panther. But yeah, I guess it's worth it if you're going for kills. I mean, I'm going for all kills and all pickups, so... Yeah, I'm doing everything. But yeah, just go ahead and climb up. Go back this way, and... Yeah. Oh, we get some magnum clips, too. So after you get the magnum clips, we're gonna go ahead and drop through the hole. And it's a good thing I caught myself, because I would have gone back into the room again and then had to climb my way back out. Okay, so we know what's in that room. Now we're going to move this next movable block. I believe this one just leads us to a path, and we're going to end up fighting another panther, so why don't we pull out our shotgun?
And look at that, we got nothing out of this one. We got a kill out of this one, so... Yeah, that's something. But now let's move this movable block. There's another panther, go ahead and kill it. And we get the small med pack. So now what we want to go ahead and do is use our key. And the key, believe it or not, is going to open up two doors. It's going to open up the door that's right next to us. But then it's also going to open up the golden door in the room with the movable blocks. So, I'm gonna first go through that golden door. Now, honest truth, you can avoid going that way altogether if you want to. And if I were doing like no loads, no meds, where I only got one shot, I would just avoid going through that door altogether because there's this mummy that you have to fight. And it's really hard to do it. Or at least not without losing a whole bunch of health, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the chance for you guys. And we're going to strategize on how to get past this mummy. So, in order to get to the door, we want to go ahead and move the block about right here. Oof. Man, I keep hitting Laura against a wall or block. So, why don't we go ahead and save? Because, uh, this is a very dangerous part. I think I'm going to use the shotgun here. We're going to jump up here. Once you get about halfway through the corridor, you're going to spawn the mummy. So, just back up. Okay, see there? That mummy did some damage. And it could go a lot worse. So, we're going to come in here. And we're going to pull a switch. There's... This switch is going to lower one of the drawbridges because there's four artifacts that we're collecting in this level and that bridge gave us access to one of them. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other way. We actually can just drop down from here. But if you guys are wondering by some chance what I opened up... When I did that key, you see this here is the other door, so... When we used our key, if we had gone through this door, we would be right here in this open room of the water. So, if we're in the water, there's some magnum clips that we can pick up. Come over here, there's some shotgun shells. Okay. So then come this way, and then you want to go through this alcove. Then you want to pull out maybe your magnums, because there are some panthers in this room. You might want to stay on this step, because on this step they can't get you. Alright, we killed the panthers successfully. So if you guys are wondering as to what's um, ow, up here, uh, if we step up here, we don't really see anything, but it, it allows us to jump here, and then we can see that there's this little room back here. Now you might want to pull out your guns. 
So this is kind of like a hidden room, but look at that. There's two mummies in this room. I don't think they're active, though. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of this. I didn't even get what was with that room. Uh, there's no need to go in that room in order to complete the level. Alright, we're going to go this way. And to get up, we're going to go ahead and climb up this ledge. Jump here. Back up and then do a running jump. Climb up this ledge. If you jump across, there's a med pack to pick up, so we're going to go ahead and get that large med pack. And if you want to hang from the ledge and see what's down below, that basically leads you to that room. And actually, I'm going to save real quick, because I think being up here is what activates those mummies. So if we go down here, see, now they're up and active, so... Alright, so, um, I think being up here activates the mummies. Go ahead and go down on the slide. And then, you want to very quickly jump to this step. Alright, so we're up here. The mummies, I believe, are active. And what you would may want to do is go here. And then back up, back flip, come onto this ledge, because on this step you're safe. So the mummies can't hurt you if you're on this step. So from here you might want to take like two steps back. there we took him down now we're at like half health so yeah going up there activates the mummies I don't think very many people go to this room but I want to show you guys everything all right so back to where we were before we're gonna go ahead and climb up From here, we can go ahead and back up, do a running jump. Jump here, climb up. So, just jump along these ledges and be careful because it is easy to fall to your death in this room. This room can make me very, very nervous. So from here, um, be careful of the object. Then back up. Uh, the object can uh, veer your direction, so be careful. Do a running jump. Grab the ledge. Climb up. All right, so go ahead and, and jump, grab. Then run this way, jump across. Then you're going to jump up here. 
So we're making it almost to the top. Now be warned, there's a mummy when you come up here, so get your guns out. And how I want to deal with him, we want to be very careful that we don't fall to our death. So we're going to turn more about like this. And start shooting the mummy. Be prepared to flip right if you have to. Well, we don't have to in this case. Alright. So. At this point, there's a switch that we want to pull. That switch is going to drop one of the bridges. So, if we want to look at, up at the top of these steps... There's a hole there. We do not want to go through there yet. We want to go ahead and go this way. Drop down. This is like right where we pulled the switch. If we go onto this balcony, there's a couple of items to pick up. There's a small med pack. And there's some magnum clips. Go ahead and pick those up. And we can't get up from that side. We have to do it on this side. So to get our next secret, what you want to do is position Laura at the very edge, and then you want to do a running jump. Do not try to grab the edge. Laura does not grab that ledge. Just do a running jump and act as if you want to keep running, but don't overrun it. So just do a running jump, and Laura lands successfully on it. Pick up the Uzis and the small med pack. That's the first secret. To get the second secret, it's like right over there. If you see where that uh, little statue is, go ahead and veer Laura about like this, back up, and then do a running jump. This is the second secret. Laura does lose a little bit of health on that fall, but it's not too bad. Anyhow, back up, then roll. Now, in this room, this is where we need to pull another one of the switches. So, there's that pit down below. You want to avoid falling in that pit at all costs. There's two mummies that spawn, they are agile, and it is very hard to get away from them if you fall into that pit. So, I'm going to show you guys how to take care of the mummies easy. We're going to go ahead and go down here, spawn them so we don't have to do it later. So, what you want to do is standing on this side, drop from the ledge, drop, and then immediately come back up. So see, there's two mummies spawned. You want to go ahead and shoot them. Alright, so now we don't have to worry about them anymore. Oh, actually, I'm going to show you guys uh, a little shortcut. So, if you guys want to cut out a bunch of stuff, you can jump like this. And then you guys can get over there where the switch is. But I'm going to go ahead and do everything the long way. And then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump back to where we were. So the ideal route to get to that switch is a whole lot longer. But before we do that, I'm going to climb up here where there's a secret. And this is our third secret. Alright, so climb up here, hang from the ledge, then shimmy along the slit in the wall. Climb up on top of this ledge, go in here, there's a large med, go ahead and pick that up. This is the third secret. After you get the third secret, go ahead and come back out this way. Now, you might notice there's some shotgun shells over there. We want to go ahead and jump along these ledges and pick up those shotgun shells.
Alright, so let's go ahead and head back. Alright. So, from here, this is where we would have dropped down. We can then go down these little steps. We can come out here. Now, if you guys are looking, do not try to jump that. That is way too far. So from here, Laura would drop, and then she would hang like this. Shimmy to the right. So then go ahead and hang from this ledge and shimmy to the right. Shimmying takes a long time, so just be patient. After Laura shimmies most of the way, uh, she'll want to go ahead and drop onto this tile, and then she'll want to roll, and then do a running jump to grab this ledge. And then this right here is where and how we pull that switch. So pull the switch, that lowers another drawbridge. Now since we killed the mummies down in the pit, we can go ahead and safely drop into the pit and we got nothing to worry about. But if you guys are wondering as to what could be in here, um, I don't really think there is anything. So yeah, we're just going to climb our way back out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to pick up the artifacts just yet. I'm going to come up here, and then there's a switch we want to pull. Um, what that switch does is it resets that room, so basically that switch changes a slope to stairs and a stairs to slope. So if you guys notice, these are stairs. While they're stairs, we can go ahead and jump up to the top. Well actually, before I do that, I want to do something else. I'm going to go ahead and jump over here, and there's some shotgun shells. You can go ahead and pick these up. After you get the shotgun shells, go ahead and slide down here. Now, be warned, there is a panther down here. So you might want to pull out your guns. Leave the panther spawns somewhere over here. Actually, I think... I think you have to pull the switch first. Right now the panther's there, so go ahead and just use your magnum to take him down. Alright, we took out the panther. Alright, so let's go ahead and come this way. And if we go over where the panther is, we find some magnum clips that we can pick up. After you get the magnum clips, go ahead and run back this way and climb up the steps. To get those shotgun shells, you can just jump straight from that here if you find it easier than doing a sort of side jump. Oh, also, if you guys climb up to the top, you guys can get back to where I was. So, this is the hole that I showed you guys from up above, and at that time it was a slide, so if you guys see, we're back up here, we're like at the very top of the gaming grid. 
But see, before this was a slide, now it's steps. So I'm going to go ahead and back up. So from here, I think it's safe to drop. Alright, so go ahead and pull this switch out here, and that's going to reset the slope and stairs. Pull it, and it resets. I have no idea how it works, but I didn't make the level. So go ahead and climb up these steps once again. Or no, not once again, this is our first time. But yeah, go ahead and climb up these steps, get to the very top, and you'll notice that there's a slit in the rock to the right. Go ahead and veer right, back up, run, jump, grab, and yeah, you're going to look at a fall that would kill you if you happened to let go. So don't do that. Keep shimmying to the right. And drop on this platform. And then we fall off right there. I was going to hang from the ledge first, but whatever, that worked. So come in here, and then there's this switch. That switch changes this slope to stairs. So go ahead and climb up the steps. So there's a mummy up there. You want to go ahead and use your uh, magnums and then just jump up. You don't want to go where it can get you, so just jump up, start shooting at it, and yeah, kill it before you happen to climb up. And you're also a lot more likely to avoid its explosion when you're in that little hole. So yeah, come over here, pull the switch, and this is the switch that's going to drop the other drawbridge. So now we can access all four artifacts. Alright, now we're going to pull the switch, open up this door, and look, we're right back where we were, so we can go down the way we did before. I'm going to play it safe, take these steps, because I don't want to incur fall damage. So go ahead and drop to here. I think that from about right here, uh, no, okay, next step we can drop. Go down, back up, hang from the ledge, and then we can go out this way. Pick up the artifact. Then pick up this next artifact. and then pick up uh, all four of them, and then the door is going to open. So now go ahead and drop into the water below. Be careful about uh, carelessly going off the edge because you might hit the land and not water, which might hurt. So if we go over here, I believe this is where we find the opening. Uh, this is kind of a long swim, so we'll hold our breath. We're going to try to get everything. So. We're going to swim down here, pick up the magnums, and the med pack, and the shotgun shells, and this is a lot of stuff to pick up, and believe me, this is a long swim. But it's not too long for us. We got time to pick up these other shotgun shells before we go up for air. I'm not gonna get that med pack just yet. There is a mummy when you get out, so be careful. Now pop up. Pull out your magnums. Yeah, there's the mummy. So yeah, keep away from it. Oops, I actually didn't mean to go in the water, but it's a good thing I did, because now I can get these magnums. 
Or Magnum Clips, I guess you can say. Alright, so... From about right here, we can roll, pull out our guns. Yep, that kills it. Okay. So... I guess if we come up here, we find two sets of Magnum Clips. Not a bad deal. Alright, so let's pick these up. Then we're gonna go this way. Now pull out your guns, because there is another mummy. So, try to snipe the mummy from above. Don't go down where it can get you. Come this way, pick up the med pack. And I believe that's everything we need to pick up. So come up and out this way. And yeah, I think we got everything we need. So if we come over here, this is where we're gonna use our artifacts. No. So here we want to use the scarab. And then we're gonna use the Eye of Horus. And we'll use the Ankh. And then we are going to use the Seal of Anubis. That's going to open up the doors we need to exit the level. So go ahead and roll, I guess. Jump here. Wait, what do I mean? No, the exit is this way. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe, leave a comment below, feel free to support me on Patreon. I really appreciate you guys so much for being here, and I got special content on my Patreon page, um, as well as special Patreon benefits for patrons, so feel free to check it out, feel free to give a donation if you found this helpful, but if you don't want to do that, then go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment below, and stay tuned till next time. Thank you guys.